each step of your routine, you immerse yourself in self-care, indulging in the simple pleasures of nurturing your body and mind. From gentle exfoliation to hydrating mask, each product is carefully chosen to nourish your skin and elevate your senses. With each passing minute, you feel tension melting away, replaced by a deep sense of calm and well-being. This isn't just a pamper routine, it's a ritual of self-love, a sacred moment dedicated to honoring your body, mind, and spirit. As you emerge from your pamper sanctuary, you feel renewed and rejuvenated, ready to face the world with a sense of inner peace and radiant confidence. The ambiance of your pamper routine lingers, a gentle reminder of the importance of self-care and nourishing the soul. Welcome to my pamper slash maintenance routine. I love filming these videos because I love to treat myself. I suffer from anxiety and this is just like my Friday relaxing evening. Honestly, doing this really helps me get into that productive mentality. It helps me relax. It helps melt away the stress so that I can be a less anxious little person during the week. So join me for some self-care motivation and I hope you treat yourself this way as well. first step in my pamper routine is getting me a nice exotic beverage <laughs> and by exotic I mean like this is sparkling juice um, it looks like wine but it's not but if you would like some champagne some wine you know whatever you'd like to do so I was watching the new Tyler Perry movie called Mia Culpa and it's got Kelly Rowe in it and oh my god she acted her butt off it was so like well it wasn't that great but like honestly her acting was great okay so now I'm putting on a face mask as I sit into the tub because I just want to treat my acne scars and hyperpigmentation. So this is the salicylic acid face mask from The Ordinary and it's been working wonders. I just leave it on my face for 10 minutes, it hardens, and then I will wash it off in the shower when I'm done. <laughs> sit around and be like oh I can't wait for somebody to treat me right and you know do this for me and treat me like this and make me feel like this but in reality you have to do these things for yourself okay don't wait for nobody to do it for you treat yourself how you want to be treated I want to be spoiled I want to feel like a princess I want to relax you know what I mean like so I buy all these fancy things to make my bath time as luxurious as I can without spending and breaking the bank you know Friday evening after work is finished, I will log off for the week, close my computer, I will not be touching anything work related on the weekend, and then I like to just relax, set the mood in the room, the atmosphere, light some candles, create that glowy light, set up my sunset light, put some bath bombs, some soap in the tub, soak in some bubbles. Honestly, this is just really relaxing and calming just to like sit and be with yourself and you know, put yourself first. Now that my bath time has finished, I need to take a shower just to wash off everything. Um, so I'm using a shower steamer. So I got this one from the dollar store. It is the peppermint clementine scent this smelled so good um, i've been using this for my showers you just put it where the water is like splashing that doesn't have to be directly under the water and it kind of just mists up and makes this aroma it just adds to my shower experience so now i will be washing my hair so this is another part of my routine i wash my hair once a week and i tend to do it when i'm just the most relaxed and i have the most time so friday evening is what i choose so i'm just washing my hair right now just like letting the water kind of rinse off the leftover product and then i will be getting into shampooing 
For shampoo, I am using the Ginger 2-in-1 Anti-Dandruff Shampoo and Conditioner by Head & Shoulders. This smelled delicious. Honestly, Head & Shoulders, I love this brand. I love their scents. Everything is just so good and delicious smelling, um, but also helps my hair and my scalp health. So I'm just scrubbing this into my scalp, making sure everything is nice and clean. And then right after, I'm going in with my scalp massager and just making sure I'm getting all that goodness in there, you know, stimulating the hair growth, cleaning the scalp. To, to grow hair, you need to have a healthy scalp. So I'm just making sure. And I've been seeing so much progress with my hair growth. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but just look at how juicy the curls are. They're bouncy. My hair looks thick and full and I'm just loving it. So we're just going to keep it like that. For conditioner, I'm using the Pantene Gold Series Form Reconstructing Mask with Biotin and Kukul Nut Oil. Um, this is from the Gold Series from Pantene. And honestly, I... I, I've seen these products a lot and I was curious to try them out so I got this at the dollar store actually um, but this is a pretty pricey product but it works wonders for my hair it makes it such a nice slip um, my hair is perfectly detangled like I barely have to even detangle it because it's so slippery and it just like detangles itself pretty much so I'm going in with my curly hair brush just detangling a bit finger detangling making sure the ends and um, the product is all like just evenly distributed through my hair and just making sure my hair gets all the love it needs. Now that my hair is nice and detangled, I'm just going to put it up into a pineapple bun. Like, look, you can see how juicy those curls are looking. This conditioner, oof, best. I will definitely be buying this again. Uh, so just putting my hair up and then I'm going into my body care. So we are going to be shaving. So I'm using the Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shave Gel for Women. I've used this for years and honestly I love it. Um, I just find that I avoid like razor bumps and all the ingrowns when I use a shaving gel just to make sure that the razor doesn't like nick my skin, cause friction. Uh, I don't want to be shaving my skin, I want to shave the hair. So I'm just using a regular shaver, you know. I'm just working in small little portions, small little patches, making sure I'm going over the areas multiple times, making sure my skin is just nice and smooth. This lotion, or like the shaving lotion, is actually for sensitive skin, so I don't have any issues with my eczema or anything, and I find this just helps me out, so I love it. So now going into shower care, body care, I'm going to be exfoliating after I've shaved. I like to do it that way. I know that some people like to exfoliate first, but personally I like to use it after. And this has helped me personally with um, like avoiding ingrowns. My skin gets so soft. Like I like to use the foaming body scrub. So the one I'm using is the um, apple honey uh, champagne one from Bath & Body Works. It smells so freaking good. That is my favorite scent. So I bought like the body scrub, the body butter, um, the lotion. Actually, that's the theme of this video, to be honest. Like, it's the honey apple champagne set from Bath & Body Works. So now I'm just getting everywhere on my body, making sure I'm scrubbing. This is how I get my nice, soft skin and just stay smelling nice. Make sure I'm getting under the armpits and all that stuff. Yeah, I really love body scrubs. It makes my skin so soft, like that gentle exfoliation. Love it. Now that I am fully relaxed, I've had a bath, I've had a nice shower, I'm going to start moisturizing my skin. So I'm just sitting on the edge of the tub and about to like seal in that moisture. I like to do it as soon as I get out of the shower so that my skin does not dry out, especially in the winter. So I am using the Honey Apple Champagne Body Butter. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell this. It literally smells like an apple orchid. Like I just want to bite into it. It smells so good. Uh, so I'm just lathering that on my skin. I like to use thicker creams during the winter just to seal in that moisture. Um, just lathering that in, taking my time, relaxing. No need to rush. <laughs>
I'm going in with my deodorant. So this is the Degree Power Antiperspirant Deodorant Stick. This one smells like baby powder. Like I literally had somebody come to me and be like, holy crap, you smell like baby powder. Like I just like that fresh scent. It's like, the, it's giving clean, you know? So after I'm nice and clean, nice and moisturized, I'm putting on a pair of silk pink pajamas. It feels so good on my skin, especially after exfoliating. And now I'm super relaxed and I'm ready for bed. But first, I need to do my skincare, so I'm just putting my hair up in a bun. So here I'm just doing a little bit of facial shaving. I got a little mustachio, a little mustachio, you know, we gotta take care of that. Um, so I got these facial razors at the dollar store, and I'm just using any oil I have, honestly. This is lemon oil. Um, you can use anything. <laughs> uh, you can even use baby oil, so I'm just lathering my face with some oil uh, to reduce the friction, you know. I don't want some, like, razor burn on my face <laughs> we're gonna avoid that so yeah i'm just shaving in small little sections and that's all for my facial shaving So I've been using the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid Toner. It helps with hyperpigmentation and acne scars. And honestly, I've been seeing such great results with this. I think I bought this like six times at least. I've been using it for a while. So then I'm also just misting my face with water just to make sure I'm nice and hydrated, uh, making sure that my products have something to draw moisture from. So I'm using the Niacinamide from The Ordinary, and then I'm also using the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. Um, this is to treat my hyperpigmentation, my acne scars, to uh, moisturize my face, make sure I'm, you know, looking youthful, looking nice and young, looking glowy. Uh, so these products have been doing wonders for me. They're affordable. I love them. I've been using them for years and I stand by them. My moisturizer of choice, I die, I will die by this, okay? So the Vitamin E from Fruit of the Earth, I love this cream. It is so thick, but it has vitamin E oil in it, and it literally moisturizes my skin so good. Like, it just seeps into the skin. Um, I don't have to, like, rub it in a lot. Like, literally within seconds, it's seeped into my skin. So now I'm going to be using a lash serum to grow my lashes. I've been looking to just naturally grow my lashes because they, they've they been damaged from, you know, lash extensions and all that, wearing mascara all the time. Um, I've seen a lot of progress from this. This has castor oil in it and other oils. And it just, I put it on at night, go to bed, it's more. So now for lip care, I'm using the Laneige. Look at how I've destroyed this bottle. Like it is done okay and i am avoiding buying a new one because this is like 30 dollars, and i don't have that much money to spend um but yeah this just keeps my lips looking nice and juicy now on to my hair care so this is my favorite part of my routine because i love putting in the work with my hair look at how thick and curly and bouncy it is that hair mask did wonders honestly i've just really been enjoying my hair lately uh, i will be dyeing it soon and i will be documenting it but i'm going to walk you through my hair care routine so i've been using the Mink miel pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner this does wonders for my hair so i like my hair big and puffy like i like a lot of volume um, if i use a product that is too moisturizing it's going to shrink my hair shrink my curls this one gives me like a really really good stretch a lot of volume but my hair is nice and bouncy feels healthy because um, some products like it'll leave my hair crunchy but it'll give me volume this doesn't do that so I've been loving this. Um, I will continue to buy their products. I love them. And it smells so good. It smells like I want to eat it. Literally. <laughs> So I've actually been experimenting with some hair oils. So this is the Rosemary Mint. It's the it's supposed to like stimulate your scalp. Um, this one doesn't really tingle as much as I would like it to, but you know, it's there. It's very liquidy. I was expecting more of like a thick oil. Um, but I've been applying this to my scalp directly to help with scalp health. Um, it's supposed to help with hair growth. So if you have any like bald patches, alopecia, anything like that. So from years of putting my hair up in a ponytail, you know, going to the gym, putting my hair up, uh, I noticed that the sides of my hair, like the, um, I don't know, 
know what you even call that, like just the sides are starting to, the edges, I guess, they're starting to little like recede a bit. Um, it's, it's funny because like it looks like it's balding, but it's actually when I just like wet my hair, it just looks very thin, very fine. Um, so I've just been applying some oil to that to make, you know, just give it some extra bit of love. So I got a new oil. So it's like the, I think it's Aunt Jackie's. It's the Argan oil. This was like eight bucks and I just decided to try it. It has, it has a mix of like all these different oils. And then I also like to use castor oil. So I've been buying the I Am True castor oil, but I decided to change brands. So I think I'm using the... What is it called? Is it Jamaican Isle? I can't remember. Um, but I like to get the peppermint one because I like it to like tingle my scalp and all that. So I just put all these oils in, give myself a nice little scalp massage, you know, nice and relaxing. My hair is so nice and bouncy. Look at those curls. I'm loving it. And then I will be putting my hair up into a pineapple. Make sure to keep it nice and hydrated, tuck the ends in. And then I'm going to be wrapping it with a silk scarf and going to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed my pamper maintenance routine. This is something that I like to do every single week. It's my little bit of self-care. And I hope you guys treat yourself to a nice self-care day as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.